Prior to the audio lineup, you will need to carry out some preparation of the tape recorder and assemble the required tools. Some of these items are easily available and quite cheap, whilst others are specialist items and I'm afraid can be expensive. First, let's look at what we require in the way of kit. A demagnetizer for the heads, adjustment tools for the audio amplifier trim pots and for setting the head azimuths, solvent and cotton buds for cleaning the tape path, a suitable cleaner for the pinch roller, a lineup tape for setting up the replay chain, a means to measure the audio replay levels, a tone generator to create audio signals to record with, an oscilloscope or suitable meter to adjust the head azimuths, a sample of recording tape you will set the machine up for. You will also need the appropriate leads to connect the tape recorder to the measuring set, tone generator and oscilloscope. In this video we are using a Studer A820 2-track machine to illustrate the tape path cleaning and head demagging process. Although a high-end machine, the principles shown here are applicable to all recorders of whatever sophistication and size. If not already done so, it is recommended that you switch the machine off now. It is accepted that keeping the machine powered can be useful in rotating the capstan to aid cleaning it, but in doing so runs the risk of forgetting it's switched on when it comes to the demagging process. With the cleaning solvent and cotton buds, in a logical fashion, clean the rollers, guides and the heads of oxide and binder deposits. With the increased likelihood of older tapes being played on machines, some of which will be suffering from sticky shed syndrome, the chances of large deposits of oxide and binder being stuck on other parts of the tape path are high. The cleaner I use is isopropyl alcohol in a spray can. It's reasonably cheap and is ideal for the job. As for cotton buds, Ones from the local pharmacy are ideal. You will get through a few when cleaning, so it's not worth spending a lot on these. If the heads and rollers are heavily soiled, you may need to resort to using a paper towel as an applicant. Use only single-use types, as you don't want to run the risk of a repeated use cloth picking up anything that could scratch the heads or rollers. Any kitchen roll wipe will be fine. If there are some tough to remove deposits, usually tape binder, I use one of the cotton bud sticks with the bud removed and this will do the job. Never use anything metal such as a screwdriver to scrape the deposit off. More solvent and rubbing with a wipe is the only method to use. After cleaning the tape path, clean the pinch roller. Do not use isopropyl alcohol to clean this as with repeated applications it will damage it. In this video I am using a detergent based liquid from Technics but I now use a copier and print roller cleaner which is much better. The brand I use is called Platin Cleaner and is readily available online for minimal cost. Demagging the heads. Like headwear, again don't get overly concerned about when to demag. I do this on every machine I service as I don't know when it was last done, but on your machine where its history is known, even with regular use, demagging every three months should be a suitable interval. When you do demag, care must be taken to do it properly or there is a chance you would damage the heads and the audio electronics. The machine must be switched off. Failure to do so will mean the large amount of magnetic flux created by the demagger will overdrive the record, replay and erase amps and could damage them. The demagger should not be switched on or off near any heads. Doing so runs the risk of permanently magnetizing the head. Switch the demagger on well away from the machine and using a circular motion, like waving a magic wand, bring the demagger tip up close to, but not touching the heads. Keep the demagger moving with small circular motions and move on to the next head until they are all done. When you've finished, slowly take the demagger away from the heads using the circular motions and switch it off away from the machine. 